हाय नमस्ते आई एम रोहित भारद्वाज योर फ्रेंड गाइड एंड फिलोसोफर इन टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी ऑफ लाइटनिंग ऑफ ऑफ अवर माइंड लैंड यस वी बिगिन दिस ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी टुडे एट अ स्टेप विच इज हायर देन द प्रीवियस फोर वीडियोस वी विल डिस्कस टुडे द सेवेंथ कॉन्शियसनेस and uh, it just a recap the first five consciousness are based on the sense organs of eyes ears nose tongue and skin and the sixth consciousness is the store consciousness which stored all of these including the images and the representations plus memory plus anything else it is the store it is like the ocean of the mind that is the sixth consciousness we move ahead today into the seventh consciousness and the seventh consciousness is called manaha in sanskrit or mansha or manas in english it is spelled as m a n a s manas so today we will go and delve into the details of manas mansha manaha on a practical aspect if we if we if we look at it we in the western thought process have mind taking care of everything mind is the one which is having craving mind is the one which gets angry mind is the one which becomes happy mind is the one which wants mind is the want one which which identifies the entire process of thinking recognizing discriminating it in the western philosophy is the action of mind let us get into the more details of it once we get into the details we will we'll feel more comfortable about it so in the in the in 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 our uh, journey this entire functioning of the mind has been divided into two parts one part is the mansha the mansha the mana consciousness and the second part is the mind consciousness we will speak about mind consciousness in a in a later a later video the the today's topic is mind consciousness uh, sorry today's topic is uh, mansha Uh, or manah uh, which uh, takes care of a number of positive and negative aspects of our thinking and uh, we will discuss each one of them in detail and uh, we start with uh, with what is mansha and what is mind consciousness and if we uh, if we understand this uh, this distinction we will be very comfortable in in uh, in our uh, understanding of the working and a whole lot of area between the two years the real estate will get lit up and once that is lit up our comfort level will rise and we will feel really good and happy and and bliss it will finally it will it will uh, translate into development of a or eruption of, of spontaneous bliss from inside and that is what is the aim of this entire series to help you all in 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 achieving a state where the bliss erupts from from within and and engulfs the entire mind and it has got nothing to do with external forces or external material or non material or even spiritual uh, objects so what is what is exactly is mansha that is the start point okay we start we have three things in our uh, in our lives and our entire life depends on the entire level of our happiness depends on these three things one is habit energy second is delusions and third is craving once again habit energy delusions and craving these three create a tremendous force within us or energy within us this energy conditions 
what we speak, what we think, what we do. And this energy is called mancha. Anything which gets trapped in mancha, it rectifies. In a sense, at times mancha also has good aspects to it. We will, we will see what is good about mancha and what is not good about mancha. Or even, even we will not say good or bad, that gives a positive or negative color. We will say that what is wholesome about mancha and what is unwholesome about mancha. What is kushal, what is a kushal. Kushal is wholesome, a kushal is unwholesome. So, it is this energy of uh, habit energy along with delusions along with cravings now what what is the what are these habit energies let us uh, let us have a small uh, in, insight into it the habit energy is the conditioning that our parents society and friends install in us the child is very happy when he is born. The child has got his his world around him, and uh, the child is absolutely pure. That is why when we look at a child, we always feel very happy. Something something gets connected. But as the child grows up, the child is conditioned, conditioned to follow certain rules of the society, conditioned to certain form of behaviors, which may or may not be natural and this conditioning by parents, conditioning by the society, the teachers and conditioning by the friends, the peers, it, it creates a kind of, of energy and a spontaneous response to, to any external stimulus. This energy is part of mancha. This energy, when it combines with craving, when it combines with delusion, it forms the mancha. I have a very beautiful uh, uh, video, or not even video, an image to, to depict what this mancha is all about. Give me, give me one moment. I'll let me let me let me bring that onto the screen. Yes. Now, this is a very correct depiction of what mancha is all about. What you see at the base is the store consciousness, which, which combines everything, every seed, every consciousness is working on it. One part of the store consciousness itself gets up, creates a beautiful figure for itself and looks at its reflection in the store consciousness and and assumes that this is me and I am different from the store consciousness. Not realizing that it is within the seed of delusion and craving. The craving arises that I am different from the store consciousness. This I is, is what makes me different. I have a different existence than the store consciousness. Keep this image in, in your, um, reflect on this image for the whole day and this is the basis of all the cravings, all the, all the problems of the world. In fact, mancha is nothing but the store consciousness itself but it, it gets into a, a wrong uh, or a, 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 it gets into a, a cycle where, where it thinks that I am different. Finally, the bubble and the, and the upswing of water will go down and become part of store consciousness. Anything that moves up has started its journey of moving down. That is its dharma, that is its nature. That is what is its way, that is what is its flow. And this mancha is what is the, uh, what uh, this uh, uh, mancha is, is, is nothing but a 
habit energy along with delusion and craving to form a, a different kind of a of a uh, of a the thing which uh, which which says i am different i am therefore i am i am i think therefore i am i am i this i is 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 what what is depicted in this beautiful image and this is called mancha we stop here and uh, with the, this small please keep this image in your mind reflect on it throughout the day wherever wherever you find a craving where are you craving whenever you find a craving for a small little ice cream or a, or a, or a very very tasty food just go back to this image and when you go back to this image you will see it is nothing but but a habit energy why do i like sweet because i've been told i've been i've been conditioned since my childhood that sweets are good why why sweets are good or sweets are bad or whatever whatever is the thing we 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 keep this image in our mind for the day and tomorrow we move ahead into what all is good about this i there's something good there are four four things which are very good about mancha we will discuss those those four, four five things and uh, till then thank you very much goodbye have a nice day